is the masseter muscle. Right here is the rhizorius. Easiest way to remember that. Rice goes into your mouth. Rhizorius. This is zygomaticus major and zygomaticus minor. These muscles right here, this is the levator labii superioris, the depressor anguli oris, the depressor labii inferioris. On the chin, you have mentalis. You have uh, or orbicular oris. You have nasalis. You have orbicular oculi, the muscles around the eye. Um, moving to this side, this muscle right here is the bucinator. This is the lateral and medial pterygoid muscles. When you turn on its side, you have the posterior belly of the digastric muscle right here. And on top of that, you have the stylohyoid muscle. This muscle right here connects from the hyoid to the glossus, which is the tongue. So it is the uh, hyaloglossus muscle. This muscle right here connects from the hyoid bone to the chin. So it is therefore known as the hyo... Um, a geniohyoid muscle, I'm sorry, a geniohyoid muscle. This is the anterior belly of the digastric muscle. This muscle right here and this muscle right here is the mylohyoid muscle. Connects from the molars to the hyoid bone. This muscle on its side right here is the sternoclanomastoid muscle. Connects from the sternum to the mastoid process in the base of the skull. Sternoclanomastoid. Next you have your scalene muscles. You have your anterior, your posterior, and your middle scalene muscles. Anterior, posterior, middle. For your neck muscles, you have omohyoid muscles right here. You have the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle and the inferior belly of the omohyoid muscle connects from the shoulder, which is omo, to the hyoid bone. This muscle right here connects from the sternum to the hyoid bone, so it's the sternohyoid bone. This muscle right here connects from the sternum to the thyroid, sternothyroid muscle. This muscle from the thyroid to the hyoid bone, so it is therefore known as the thyrohyoid bone. And the cricothyroid is this muscle right in here. And that's it.